Hey everybody, it is Andrea. Welcome back to my complete colouring book collection. This is going to be the eighth and final part, whatever happens. This is the last episode I'm not filming anymore. Excuse the dust on my desk. Let's get started. So I have the Kaleidoscope colouring book, which was obviously as you can see three pounds ish in the, the works. Down from 6 99 to 4 now to 3 Now I don't know why I haven't colored more on this because you know me, I love my patterns. And I, this is, although it's double sided, they're really cool. So I might pull this out. Now I did do this one, but I did do it with Sharpie. So of course it has bled through onto the other page. So I won't be doing that one. I could do it, but I won't. Because <laughs> I'd have to use another color that would bleed just as badly through. Let's pull this out a bit so you can see it. I do actually, looking at this, I quite like this. It isn't like I said, it's only two quid. So very detailed but fun patterns. So yeah. Ooh, I like that one. I might have to pull it out and try and do that one. And we have one of my favourite books which I've only done one page in and it is of course Terry Pratchett's Discworld colouring book. As you know, I am a huge Terry Pratchett fan. I've got all the Discworlds. I love this. This is the pages coloured by Paul Kidby. Death on a motorcycle and so on. So this is all I mean obviously that's just a page that's you know wallpaperish. Which means you could use markers on this one and Tiffany if you wanted to. I've done this double page of Hamish, one of the Nack Mac Nack Mac Fiegels. Parachuting using Tiffany Aiken's pants. I actually really like this one. I can't remember what pencils it was, but I really like it. It's a lovely picture. Granny Weatherwax. Death on a Motorcycle. Gods. Susan Stohillet. Vimes. The Sock Monster from Hogfather, I say. So yeah, we'll have to do some more. Oh yeah, I've done the, the front piece, which is unusual. I never do the front piece, but I did that one. Actually, that looks really good. I'm quite pleased with that. I forgot I did that. So yeah, maybe I'll pull this one out again and, and do some more. Yeah. Next, we have the Celtic colouring book. I've only done a bit in here, maybe one or two. It's just Celtic knots and patterns. That's quite a nice one though. It's very smooth paper. Celtic Easter eggs and lots. I did this one. It's just with metallic pens I got and I was trying them out. That's something on there. That's a nice one. There are some nice ones in here. And then this one I used when I was testing out various gel pens such as the Securas and very other uh, every other metallics as well. So but that's it in that one. Edwina McNamee Dreamlings. Now I love Edwina McNamee. She does the black pages, backgrounds and you get a white set as well. I think they are really lovely yeah. pictures. I really do. Oh that's so cute. And in this one I have only done the cover page. Again unusual for me to do the cover page first but I did when I like it. Uh, Edwina McNamee again, Tin Nanolag or Tier Nanolag, which is a Celtic Irish Gaelic. Again, absolutely stunning with the black backgrounds on some. Oh, I like that one. It's a winter book, a Christmas book. Uh, and I think I've only done one in here as well, but I'm not sure. I have done this one, which was done with, I would imagine, markers and sickles or glitter glue one of the two I don't think there's any more but and then of course you get the white pages as well which is nice so you can do them twice I like that one and that one so that's that one then we've got winter dreamlings this is a sweet book again I've only done one in here I can't even remember which one it was 
It's quite near the front. Actually, I do remember which one it was vaguely. It was done with markers, and it's this one of the Gingerbread Men and Their House. Sorry, I'm going to pull this back again because it's quite out of the way. I'm really thirsty tonight. I want another can. I might have to get some lemonade. But there's that one, and that was just done with probably the other blend markers and a Wink Stella or something like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, they're really nice pictures. April Amber, Chibi Girls, Halloween. Again, two sets of each in this book. Which is cool because I guess a Jennifer can have it when she's a bit older. And when I've finished with it. I don't know what one I've done in here. Do have a look. See if I can find it. Here it is. I did this one. Again, that just looks like some kind of markers or oh hoo hoo or ever blend. Not sure. Quite like that. Got a bit of glitter on there on the moon and the, on the stars. I do like these. I love April Amber's Chippy Girls. And I've got Chippy Girls Volume 1. Again, two of each in this one. Like that one. They're really cool. I love the Chippy Girls. I'm not going to lie. I did the uh, Wicked Queen from Snow White. I think we did that on camera. I do I do love these Chibi Girls. They're so much fun. And of course Chibi Girls Volume 1. It's all for Volume 3 in my unused books. Again, two of each. I like that one. I did the skater. I have a thing about doing ice skaters, haven't I? I like ice skating, so I like doing the ice skating pictures. And I always do their dresses pink or, or blue. I love this witch. I won't do this witch this year. Oh, and I've done the singer. Yeah, that one we did on camera. I remember doing that with the streaky hair. And some glitter gel pens. That's a good one. But yeah, I really like these. Next one is a My Little Pony colouring book. This is, I got this one for Jen for Ashland and only ordered two. So I gave one to Jen. Which is great, which means I don't have to share this one with her. I've only done one in here and I did this one with the uh, orange one. I can't remember what markers they were done with. Is it alcohol or is it super tips? Mm, hard to tell, probably super tips looking at that. Or water based ones anyway. Yep. Yeah love who doesn't love a bit of my little pony i don't know what the ponies are called i never had my little ponies growing up so but i do i think these are cute books what's this one? Oh, this is fashionable 50s and i did the cover page i don't have anything to do with the 1950s That's a nice one. Yeah, I like that one too. I don't like the background, but I like that picture. Need a bit of an Elvis one, I not <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> and again. But yeah, I really like this. I love that one. There's the one I did. Again, this was using, I think, oh, hoo hoos or whatever blends. It's hard to tell. Let's have a look. It doesn't say. I know. I really enjoyed that. I, so I think that's one of my favourite pictures. I think that was last year, so it was probably Everblends. But I really like it anyway, so. And hot I am. Halloween colouring book for adults. This is one that's been printed the wrong way. So they printed it on the left hand side instead of the right. This does not bother me because I am actually left handed. So it actually makes life a little bit easier for me. So it's just one I picked up because I like the look of it. That's a nice one. And I did this one last year with the uh, Ever blend, I would imagine, or possibly, I know I would actually say, hmm, yeah, probably, but I, I like that. 
or it's some marker that I haven't got many colours of. I can't remember. But I do like it. I think it's an interesting picture. A little uh, things. I made them black eyes rather than have them glow in. So I quite like that one. Like I said, it's probably a printing error that it's on this side instead of that side. But for me, it's better because I'm left handed. But the only Molly Harrison one I've actually coloured in, I got two, but this is the only one I've coloured in, is Fairyland. This, this is one of the first books I ever bought and I love Molly Harrison and I'm surprised I haven't bought more of her books. I have coloured a PDF of hers because I've got some PDFs as well. And this was one of the first ones I ever did. This would have been either with the Marco Ruffines or the Faber-Castell Classics. I'm going to say looking at it, probably the Classics. And I've tried to do some veining on this to make it look marbly. But considering this was one of my first colouring pages and the first time I'd attempted to do skin, I'm really quite proud of it. And this would have been back in 2016-2017, so... Oh, I love this book. When did it come out, this book? Oh, it doesn't say. But yeah, oh, 2017. So yeah, it would have been 2017 when I, I did that. I do like that book. Then we've got uh, The Fabulous 50s, a Zen, Zen Masters colouring book. Now, I like the way they do their books. Single-sided. They've got loads of them. They even do, I think, colour by colour or colour by numbers. I did the jukebox. It was one of the things I first did where I tried to blend the colours through so that it changed from dark red to light red to orange to yellow and then back. And I'm quite pleased with the way it looks. Even I think that was done with the, it, that was done with Derwent Colour Soft, definitely. I remember it now. But there's so many, I mean, it's a picture of a toaster. <laughs> Fabulous 50s. Love it. Sunglasses. Kitchens. Now, I like that. That is very me, a camera like that. Curl. I, I do like these ones, the way they they do them. So the 50s. And I also have uh, the Totally Bodacious 80s colouring book. Again, Zen Masters. And this is the sort of 80s stuff I like. So I did these two. Um, various pencils. I'm trying to think which one. Prismacolor, I would say, looking at them, because they have these neons. And the background would have been done with the Koinoid Tritones. Um, can't remember what the name of the colour is, but uh, that's what I would have used on that. So, really like that one. So not, oh, I've, I've done. I love these eighties stuff. I do. There's a oh, that side. Look at look at the hair on that. I mean, look at that eighties music. Stay in life is actually seventies, but there you go. It's a Delorean, and he's actually wearing the suit. So it is actually back to the future rather than just a DeLorean because he's wearing a space suit or a radiation suit. Then we've got another one from Zen Masters. This is the 1950s Vogue adult colouring book. This is stunning. These pictures are beautiful with the clothes and the, the suits and the glasses, the dresses. And I did this one of her leaning against the pink car, very hair. She, it looks very almost Lauren McCall like, what I thought, with the dark, with the brunette hair, and I love it. Oh, look at this one. And that one. I'm going to have to do some more of these, definitely. Oh. At the gas station. Yeah, I like that. I have a 50s kid in an 80s girl. <laughs> Sherry Baldy, my bestie's little gypsy colouring book. This is another great one. I love Sherry Baldy. These cute big eyed girls. And boys. And I've done one in here. I like that one. I'm definitely going to have to do that one. Oh, this was definitely using um, Arteza because it's gone red on the background. But that's okay, that's going to be easy to cover. And yeah, uh, orange rather. Uh, yeah, so I did this one of the mama and the baby. And that was around time when Jen was little she's very yellow baby face yet that was baby pink so obviously baby pink means every baby that you use with baby pink has got jaundice but I do like these gypsy ones I think they're wonderful 
Next is Sherry Baldy's My Bestie Santa's Little Helper colouring book. Again, we did this one as Christmas in July this year. It's the only one I've done in it, and that was using the Gerkst pens, I believe, um, and a glitter gel pen and a skin tone from one of my skin tone marker sets. One of my marker sets. Oh, so cute. I mean, look at them, they're adorable. I love the little Santa. So, yeah. They're lovely. So you get two of each by the look of it, or there's two of the, a few of them, and yeah, there's two of each. Which is cool, means you can do them again. I like that book. Very cute. Yeah, 50 pages, 25 images, two of each. I've got to get another stack of books and a drink, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Next we move on to the little darklings. This is Kelly Horton. So this is like a Halloween version. This does have the names of the girls in the back. And then practice sheets if you want to draw your own. These are really nice. I love the witch. I might do her this year. Sorry I'm not on. It's because I've got books stacked up here and not a lot of space. So I'm just going to move slightly. So here is the one I have done in this one. Let me move my can out of the way. This one is Luna. I've written her name at the bottom. And this was done with various markers, as you can see. I did enjoy that some pencil over the skin as well. These are really nice. So I'm going to have to put my fan on because I'm boiling. So I'll turn it to face me. Hopefully you won't hear it so bad. Hope not. Let me know if it does. So I won't put it on when I'm filming. I'll just suffer. <laughs> I get very hot. This, the lamp I use is very, very hot. So I'm just trying to get this right. I'll have to move some stuff out there. There's a lot of stuff on the floor. Um, I'm trying to sort out my colouring supplies uh, before I film my colouring chat tomorrow so I can actually move the tripod over a little bit. So that's the little darklings. And we've got Storybook Darlings, again by Kelly Horton. I do love these pictures. I've done the little red riding hood one. I do like her. There we go, that's better. So they are really, really sweet. Ah, gorgeous. Isn't it? She's such a sweet artist. I love these. She's done realistic ones as well. The darlings are really cute. And this is the first book she did. This is The Little Darlings. Again, I've only done one in here because I have got so many books. There's all the names. And I am trying to work my way through them and do as many, you know, complete a page in each one. Would help if I stopped getting more books, wouldn't it? But try again to not get many books this month, but I can't promise it because I just, I mean, I know there's a few coming out this month, so I've done that one, which I really like. I have a thing about red, don't I? I think that was Prismacolor looking at that colour, but it might not have been, could have been Black Widows. <laughs> I haven't got a clue anymore on some of them, but yeah, I do like them, they're really nice. Lovely little books. I haven't got the newest one, which is actually hardback to get that soon. Uh, Ladies of Nature by Elena Lazareva, I believe. Yes, Elena Lazareva. Again, I've only done one in this, but I love this. Look at this book, it's beautiful. That's the one I've done. There are two of each um, picture in this one, so you can do one in markers and one in pencil, which is probably what I'll do on some of them. Um, and that's the, the one I did with Polychromos by the look of it, I think. But uh, I, I do quite like that. I think she looks really nice. I could do the skin a bit darker, I think. The skin's quite light. But it kind of goes with the undersides of the, the mushroom. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I want some more of her books. You see what I mean? Yes, for every one book I've got by one artist, I want the rest of them. Or at least a few more. And we've got Mandalas and Patterns by Sarah Jane Carter. Got this one off of eBay, I think. And again, I've only done one in here, probably the first one, and it's just the Mandalas and Patterns. Is it a pattern? 
There's a mandala. Generally, I'd say it's more mandalas than patterns, but there are patterns. And, you know, oh, God, look how, look at, how tiny that is. That's a fine liner job if I ever saw one. Um, and I've just done the first one, and I, I don't know what that was done with. Gel pens? Yeah. Gel pens. So, yeah, it's all right. Quite like that book. Then I've got Sally Berry Flower Mandalas. Now, I didn't know I had a Sally Berry one, actually, and I've obviously coloured in this one, other than the 300 one. But, hey, I'm not complaining. That means more for me to do. Yeah, I like this one, actually. Yeah, and I've only done one. It's probably the first one. It normally is. Have a look. Is it? Is it? It is. And it's that one. And that looks like it was done with Sharpies, I'd say, looking at that, most likely. But, yeah. So, that's a nice book. Getting through them now. One more stack after this one. This one is Yam Puff Streams Collection. So, this is a compilation of over 90 illustrations, four books and some extras. Like sugary dreams, unicorn dreams, I don't know what else dreams, lots of dreams, but they're lovely. Look at that. Carousel dreams, I love that one. So, and I did this one from Carousel dreams, that was done with Black Widows, took me forever to do that. Um, but I just want to try all different sort of things. I'll do one in gel, gel pens, I'll do one in markers at some point. Um, potentially, you know. But yeah, I really like this book. So it's Yam Puff's Dreams Collection. Next we've got Chibi Girls 2. This is Ava Brown. Do you know? Got a lot of Ava Brown. Two pages uh, again of each one, two pictures of each. That's the second set. Nice grayscale books, this one. Lovely, this is. There we go. I like the tiger one, so cute. I've only done that one. I really like that one of her cupcake chibi. Yeah, nice ones these are. <laughs> Next, I've got Kawaii Girls uh, Grayscale by Ava Brown. So again a different I did the mermaid so again very aerial like that would have been done with the uh, hoo hoos and you did that this year I believe I love it I love these I think they're fantastic I love these these this is the sort of books I like um, more than anything else oh this is a good book as well actually so this is fantasy by Ava Brown I saw this cover picture and I had to have a book it's just stunning all the so that's the first page which is actually the one I've done there's all sorts of different kind of fantasy creatures in here um, fantasy yeah I just, I, this is the sort of book I love absolutely adore look at that that is such a beautiful unicorn and Pegasus all in one type thing and uh, that's my rendition of the colour page again it would have been done with Oh, who who's possibly maybe used the Amazon markers on that as well probably a bit of a mixture I like this one yeah. next one is 50 diamond mandala colour by number by Satch and Satch Diva now the, I haven't kept these separate because to be honest I don't have any colour by numbers that aren't Jade Summer if I get a collection then I'll keep of them I will keep them separate I would put them at the front so that I know where they all are um, but again I always do these in order but I do love these I think this is fantastic this is the sort of colour by number I really like I like pictures as well but I really love the patterns and I, I did this one and this was just using a mixture of pens this was a skin tone from the touch 5 skin tone set for the peach some of them are the gurks some of them are the uh, oh hoo hoos it, it really just depended on that one there wasn't a particular brand that I used just used anything that was lying around 
So that is the only Sachin Sach Diva book I own at the moment, but I'm pretty sure it's going to change because I do quite like his pictures as well. But we'll have to, we'll have to see. Because as you know, I've got a lot of colouring books. And I've got Fiercely Gorgeous. This is Evelyn Liza. And you can see that the cover's a little bit knackered, but that's my own fault. It was downstairs for a long time. Two sets. I think I've done two in this one. I did this one. This was a buddy colour with Chelsea over at Chelsea Jade Marie Colouring. And I've also done this one. I really like. I've blacked out the backgrounds because I don't like the messy patterns or the, the... It's very busy. Now you can still see it through the black, but it just looks like a damask or a damp uh, background wallpaper. What I might do if I do another one is do a metallic acrylic background so it'll, when I do another one, it'll completely cover it. I just think that the, the background's too busy and it takes away the beauty of the, the, the girls. So I'd, I'd quite like to get rid of the backgrounds on this. But that's, you know, I might do that one next. That's gorgeous. But yeah, that's just my prerogative. It's my book and I'll, I can do what I want with it, so. But I do like that. I like those sorts of girl pictures. Partly grayscale. Then we've got um, Pin-Up Models by Domita Victoria. I love this book. It's a light grayscale. I did this one. So this was again done using the Ohuhu markers with some pencil over the top. The wall is the Koinor tritone pencils but I've used a alcohol blender on the back so that it blends beautifully together you can see how nicely it blends with an alcohol marker blender so that's my preferred blender for something like that I just think it looks really good but I love these pictures so 40s and 50s oh it's stunning and again with that one yeah I might change the background and just black it out but I might not when it's got a background like this, I think that's fine, it looks nice. And that looks fine. It's just when the back backgrounds are so busy, like in the other book, it does take away from it. But oh, I love this book. I definitely have to do more in this one soon. Love it. Absolutely love it. What's this one? This is Make Time for Yourself Colour Art Pattern Collection. This is from Tesco, this is a, a magazine one, comes out every now and again, and literally it's just patterns. And you know what I'm like, I love my patterns. Love my mandalas. I like that one. That's such a small one, that would take hardly any time to do. So, that's a good one. I just got to find what I've done. And I did this one. I'm not sure what pens that is, but uh, yeah. Uh, that's quite a nice one, looks nice. It's a nice book. It might be water based markers. Yeah, they're water based markers, so there's that one. Ooh. Next, this is a pack of four I got together, which is The Art of Colouring. The first one is Nouveau. I've done one in each of these books. As you can see, it's mostly patterns. I like that one. And that's great because I like patterns. And I did this one. Just three colours, red, well, four technically, red, green, yellow, and just a little bit of blue there. But, yeah, really nice and easy to colour. Mindless colouring, that's what I like sometimes, a bit of mindless colouring. What pens did I use on those? Do we know? I, I'm not sure. It wasn't Sharpies. I it might have been. I don't think it was, though. Could have been. Then... Was it pack of three or was it pack of four? It was a pack of something. Art colouring birds. Like I said, it was a pack, so they all came together. I'm not as big a fan of colouring birds, but I wanted the Nouveau one. I did do this one, actually, yeah. And that looks really nice. I think that was done using the pens from Lidl's. If I remember rightly, the water based pens from brush pens from Lidl's. That looks nice. It's the only one I've done. It's the one that really thought I want to do that one. The yeah, owl's quite nice. I thought there were four books in this series. I've only got three here. Is there another one on the shelf? There might be. I'll have a look in a minute. And then next we've got the Art of Colouring Botanical. Might have only been three though. 
you can see it's all botanical but again it's mostly patterns which is nice and flowers oh that's quite a nice one and I have done one in here look at that oh my god I wouldn't know where to start and I did the very first one again I think that was just the ones from Lidl's looking at it but it's 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 bright and it's colourful and it's what I needed at the time I'm gonna go grab the last stack of books and I'll be back okay guys this is it last stack we're on the final we're on the way out. So next one is make time for yourself. Man, uh, blah, mindful colouring. Again, I think this came from a supermarket or somewhere like that. And I've only done the first one, which is this one. But again, it's lots of mindful colouring patterns mostly. As you can see, there's a bird there. Okay. Patterns, simple things. Lots of simple things, fun things. Yeah, so I've done that one. Next is Harry Potter Chippy. This isn't available anymore, I guess. It was pulled. It was it's not official, I guess, but I got this from, from Amazon. And it's really sweet. I might have to do the night bus at some point. Oh. But, uh... Yeah, it's not available, sadly. These, these type, types of books do tend to come and go. I've only done one in here so far, which was, let me find it. This one of Ron, Harry and Snape in their potions class, or whatever it was he taught. Making some sort of potion, he doesn't look very happy, does he? <laughs> that was fun to do. And again, um, markers, don't know which ones. But I did enjoy it. Uh, it was so much fun. <laughs> I'm glad I got that. Because it's not available. Or it wasn't available last time I looked. Next we've got Easy Flower Mandalas by Stefania Miro. This is one I've done a fair few in. Their black backgrounds will go from the front. Because I haven't done the cover one but I will at some point. So these are ones... Um, I've done a lot of these. So, And this is just in markers. This is probably... That looks like it could be alcohol marker, but then that to me looks like it's super tips because it's got four different colours in it. That's a gel pen. Sharpies. Yeah, definitely something like Sharpies and that one would be. That's just lots of different colours that I picked just to use them randomly. That was me trying to use up some odd bits of gel pen more gel pen because you know I love my glitters as a neon one that's beautiful colors in there I think that was the markers from Lidl's the alcohol ones from Lidl's that was a set of pastel ones from the from what and that's all I've done I'm gonna have to pull this one and do some more because I still got lots in here but I've actually done a fair few oh I've done this one oh yeah because I didn't start doing them in order I, I originally I started doing them in what order I fancied and I thought you know what no I'm not I'm going to do them in order so I've done that one as well that's Sharpie I think looking at it so now I'm working through it in order but yeah so as you can see I have done some in that book as it tends to be the patterns in the mandala books I do the, the most next I've got A Colourful Christmas by Colour It now these aren't available in the UK I have to order them from Amazon US they don't take long to come, but they tend to cost about 18 to 20 quid. Now, I do like these. They are flipped. They are spiral bound, but they're spiral bound at the top. So, for me being left-handed, that's fine. I might do that Santa this year. I've only done one in here, I think. These are so nice. The paper's lovely. It's nice and thick. So, I've done this one to cover with marker and gel pen. And I think that's all I've actually done in that one. Yeah. But I really want to do some more in that one this year. So I do like these books, but they are quite expensive to get to the UK. Then I've got a Colour It Colours of the Decades. This was the first one I got because it's different decades. And you know what? I love different decades. Again, I haven't done much in this one either. But I do, again, look at that. have 
too many Oops, as you can see there's a bit of paper in there from when I actually did it it's actually the blog page that comes with it because I have actually done the front page again on this because I, I liked it I thought I'll just use various um, multicolored markers and sharpies on it I haven't done anything else and I need to do something in this book because I love it well, I say that about all my books don't I then I've got a colouring book cafe which is a small one so their books are normally A4 ish size same size as Jade Summer and Ava Brown but this one's a bit smaller and this is Santa's Little Christmas so maybe that's why it's a small one it's just lots of side on pictures of Santa and his train Santa's at Choo Choo now I must have done one because it's in here so there I go all this way around I did this one uh, with my markers uh, super tips I'd say looking at them just for fun um, yeah Santa in one of his bags of toys but this is a really cute that's an upright one that's typical San, I love Santa asleep in his bed <laughs> it's so cute he's finished his day and now he's gone to sleep yeah it's a cute book actually from Karen Book Cafe then I have got the Egypt Colouring Book for Adults. This again was one of the first books I bought. This is by the Colouring Book People, uh, UK edition patterns. So I'm not so keen on the patterns, but I like the ones like this. And I did this one of what is very similar to King Tut's Mask. This was done in May 2017, so I probably started to colour in in 2016. At least you could do markers in this because it is single sided and there's another one King Tut's mask and I would actually like I said refer to an actual picture because I'm that way inclined I love this book I will be bringing this out at Christmas this is The Horror Hotel by A.M. Shah he's got lots of books out that are similar to this very small very thin but I took this on holiday it's quite creepy I wouldn't want to stay in this hotel would you I mean come on I did the pool with the zombie check and I did the pool blood and because I'm really gruesome I added some bloody hand and footprints on the the side and on the rails and on her bed sunbed uh, she's sunbathing in the dark because she's a zombie and she's been able to swim in the bloody pool <laughs> it's like really quite a gruesome person as you can tell that was done with Black Widows did that on holiday but yeah I will do some more of this I like that one you've got a road or river I'm not sure whether it's a road or a river leading down to the sea and it's got a cemetery there it's really cool dead person in the hallway creep clown on the stairs yeah it's a really creepy book look at that love it got one of these relax with art books I pick up every now and again if it's something I like the look of I do find these a bit there's so much oh it's quite a good pattern I do look at them and then I forget what's in them this has got quite a few Halloween-y pictures in it is it this one I think yeah I did the cover page but I did a green and I prefer mine <laughs> I don't know what pencils I think it was Black Widows looking at them but I enjoyed it it was fun because I've been testing the colours there so pumpkins oh that's creepy pumpkin creepy clowns do have a few of these relax with art this was one of the Christmas ones you can see patterns hats or patterns and oh yeah I did this one of the um, them dancing it's supposed to be um, well it's not Christmas but it looks Christmassy because it looks like an angel on the cover I don't know when that came out but uh, I did this one of the, the dancers I like that. The sunset over the reminds me of like well it's Spanish so Spanish dancing kind of reminds me of Tenerife I guess a bit. There's all sorts of different yeah it's more sort of like people around the world I don't know sometimes they have a theme and, and sometimes they don't it's hard to know so that one looks quite wintry because she's going ice skating and that she looks like an angel so and then you've got a Scottish bagpipe player. I don't know. My lights sort of dropped a bit. Or something like that. 
Only a few more books to go, three in fact. Another Relax with Art. I could not tell you what is in this book. I've coloured, but I'm sure I'll find out when I see it. I'll be like, oh yeah, of course. So like I said, these are very... I like that one. We put... Oh, I know which one this is. Um, yeah. I did The Girl in the Closet. I'm not really keen on it. I don't think the markers go down as well in this book. It must be the paper. But it's okay, there's nothing wrong with it. She's like, hey, look at all my love. I like Harry. But yeah, so it's that one. Next one is Lacey Sunshine's Oz Colouring Book by Heather Valentin. Done one or two in here. There's definitely one. It's one I do want to colour in a lot, I'll admit, because I love The Wizard of Oz. I got it. My can doesn't fall off. Might be just one. I might have pulled it to do another one and then didn't. Let me just find the one I have done. Where can I find it? It's disappeared. I might do Glinda next. I like Glinda. Ah, oh, there we go. I did. Dorothy and Toto at the beginning of the Yellow Brick Road. There we are. And again, really, really cute. It's a lovely book if you look, look at some of the pictures, if you can see them. I think this is stunning. I like Lacey Sunshine. I'm going to get some more of those. And the last one is Lacey Sunshine's Halloween. 30 fun witches, pumpkins, ghosts and vampires. I think I've only done one in this one as well, but we'll have a quick look. Did that one. That was back in 2017 as well. Some pencils, pebbles, chalks and glitter glue. That's the only one I've done. Oh, I must do more in this one this year because it's gorgeous. Oh, I've got to do him. Oh, I love it. But yeah, that's it. That is my entire colouring book collection as it stands of before I do my haul in August at of August 2021. So I don't know how many books there are, I haven't counted them, I will be counting them. And if you want me to colour in any of the books you've seen in this video, please let me know, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my colouring books, not as big as some, but it's bigger than others. And I'm not bragging that I've got this many because it's, it is quite overwhelming and I can't stop buying them because there's so many books coming out that I want. And I do want to colour in them all, I just don't get as much time as I want. I've booked a few days off in September just to chill out and rest because my health has not been that good and why well, I've not been filming as much because this is taking it out of me. But I will tell you all about that in the colouring chat which I will be filming the day you see this. So you'll be seeing this on Thursday the 26th and I'll be fin filming a colouring chat the same day for Friday so you will be seeing that very fairly soon so although I'm sorry that it's taken me so long I will be getting back to normal I hope soon but like I said I've booked a few days off I plan to do a little bit of eBay a little bit of house maintenance clearing up and sorting out and a lot of chilling out and relaxing and I'll explain what's been going on in my colouring chat but I hope you've enjoyed my humongous colouring book collection I don't know when I'll do another complete collection probably two years 18 months might be January 2023 who knows that's a long way off I'll talk to you soon, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, guys.